Deep in the heart of the wilderness where the shadows lurk, a legend walks. Bigfoot. That's right folks, the elusive, towering creature of lore that has fascinated generations with its mystery. But who or what is Bigfoot? Let's dive into the enigma that is Bigfoot. In the annals of folklore and mythology, creatures similar to Bigfoot have made regular appearances, intriguing and terrifying people in equal measure. This elusive creature goes by many names across the globe, each revealing a unique story and a different facet of the same mystery. In the snowy expanses of the Himalayas, it's known as the Yeti. In the dense forests of North America, it's Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Across the pond in Europe, it's the wild man. And in Australia, they call it the Yowie. Despite the different names and varied descriptions, these tales share a common thread, a large, hairy, bipedal hominid that lives far from human habitation, hidden in the heart of nature, glimpsed only rarely by the fortunate or the unfortunate, depending on how you see it. Adventure enthusiasts worldwide have been drawn to this enigma. Their curiosity piqued by the tales, and the sporadic evidence that seems to suggest the existence of this mythical creature. The thrill of the unknown, the lure of the undiscovered, the tantalizing possibility of coming face to face with a legend, all these factors contribute to the fascination with Bigfoot. Yet, for all the fascination and intrigue, the existence of Bigfoot remains an unsolved mystery. Is it a relic from our prehistoric past? Is it an undiscovered species? Or is it merely a figment of our collective imagination a manifestation of our primal fear and fascination with the unknown. But how real is Bigfoot? Can there be truth in the tales? As we delve deeper into the mystery, remember, truth can sometimes be stranger than fiction. So keep an open mind and let's explore the legend that is Bigfoot. From the depths of the forests, tales of encounters echo, stirring curiosity and wonder. Venture with me now into the heart of the wilderness, where the line between the known and the unknown often blurs. Here, in the emerald embrace of towering trees and winding trails, we find tales of encounters that have baffled, thrilled, and sometimes chilled those who've lived to tell them. Let's start with the tale of a group of backpackers in the Pacific Northwest. As they huddled around their campfire, the night air suddenly filled with an eerie, guttural howl. Moments later, a hulking shadow loomed out of the darkness, its silhouette illuminated by the flickering firelight. The figure was massive, covered in fur, with eyes that glowed an unnatural red. Then, as quickly as it appeared, it vanished into the night, leaving the campers in stunned silence. This encounter shook them to their core, transforming their skeptic hearts into ones filled with wonder and a touch of fear. Our next encounter takes us to a quiet logging town nestled in the Canadian Rockies. A local lumberjack, well regarded in the town for his level-headedness, reported seeing a creature of extraordinary size, covered in thick, matted fur, crossing a stream with a stride that would make an Olympic long jumper envious. The sight of this elusive creature sent waves of intrigue and disbelief through the town, a place where everyone knew everyone, and tales of the unknown were more than just campfire stories. These encounters, as thrilling as they might sound, can't be verified with hard evidence. They are, after all, based on personal experiences often recounted with a mix of fear, excitement, and a smidgen of doubt. But these tales, these encounters of the furry kind, do something quite remarkable. They blur the boundaries between what we accept as reality and the realm of the extraordinary. While these encounters can't be proven beyond doubt, they certainly add fuel to the Bigfoot mystery. Tracks in the mud, a fleeting shadow, an eerie call in the night. The clues are there waiting to be deciphered. And it's these clues that make up the evidence trail of Bigfoot, an enigma that has baffled us for ages. Let's take a closer look at some of the most compelling pieces of evidence that suggest the existence of this elusive creature. One of the most potent pieces of evidence we have are footprints. Bigfoot footprints are often enormous, some spanning nearly two feet long. The prints are not just large, they are also deep, indicating a creature of substantial weight. What makes these footprints particularly interesting is the detail. The clear impressions of toes, arches and even dermal ridges, akin to our fingerprints. Then there are the photographs, shaky, blurred images of a large, hulking figure lurking in the wilderness. The most famous of these is the Patterson-Gimlin film, 
A 60-second footage captured in 1967 showing a bipedal creature walking along a riverbank. Despite countless scrutinies and debates, the authenticity of this film remains a hot topic among experts. But it's not just what we see, it's also what we hear. Audio recordings of eerie howls and growls unlike any known wildlife have been attributed to Bigfoot. These sounds, often heard in remote, forested areas, have left many experts scratching their heads, unable to identify the creature behind the calls. However, it's important to remember that all these pieces of evidence are steeped in controversy. For every footprint found, there's a skeptic pointing out inconsistencies. For every photograph, there's a doubter highlighting potential manipulations. For every audio recording, there's a debunker questioning its origin. And yet, despite the skepticism and the debate, the evidence trail continues to captivate us. It challenges our understanding of the world and fuels our curiosity. It keeps the legend of Bigfoot alive and kicking. The evidence may be contentious, but it continues to intrigue and enthrall. In the world of Bigfoot, not everyone is a believer. Yes, you heard that right. Amidst all the thrilling encounters and fascinating evidence, there's a corner occupied by those who remain unconvinced. They're the skeptics, the doubters, the naysayers, and their voices are just as important to this enigmatic tale. Firstly, let's talk about the skeptic's perspective. Many argue that the Bigfoot phenomenon is nothing more than an elaborate hoax. They point to the lack of conclusive evidence, no bones, no droppings, nothing that definitively says Bigfoot was here. They scrutinize the footprints, the hair samples, and the grainy videos, often finding plausible explanations that don't involve an eight-foot-tall, hairy hominid. Then, there are those who propose the theory of misidentification. Could that dark figure lurking in the woods be a bear, a shadow, an overgrown shrub? Humans are notorious for letting their imaginations run wild, especially when fear and uncertainty come into play. In the grand scheme of things, a bear misidentified as Bigfoot is not that far-fetched. Let's not forget the power of folklore and mythology. Stories of giant hairy creatures have been told around campfires for centuries. Skeptics suggest that Bigfoot could simply be a modern manifestation of these ancient tales, a creature born from our collective consciousness rather than the depths of the forest. But here's the thing. Skepticism is not about debunking or dismissing. It's about questioning. It's about ensuring we don't blindly accept every footprint or blurry photo as irrefutable proof. It's a necessary counterbalance, a voice of reason that pushes us to delve deeper, to scrutinize harder, and to seek out the truth, however elusive it may be. So whether Bigfoot is a creature of flesh and blood, a figment of our imagination, or something in between, the skeptics remind us of a crucial point. Whether Bigfoot is real or not, skepticism ensures we keep questioning and exploring. Bigfoot, a creature of myth or reality, continues to captivate the imagination of adventurers worldwide. The allure of this elusive entity is intriguing to say the least. It transcends the boundaries of mere curiosity, taking a firm hold in the realm of popular culture and sparking the spirit of exploration in countless individuals. Why is Bigfoot such an enduring subject of fascination, you might ask? The answer lies in the human psyche's propensity for mystery and the unknown. Bigfoot embodies the quintessential enigma, an ancient legend persisting in the face of modern science and skepticism. It's a symbol of the wild, untamed frontiers yet to be fully explored, a testament to the fact that, despite our technological advancements, there are still mysteries out there waiting to be unraveled. This fascination with Bigfoot isn't just confined to a niche group of cryptozoologists or folklore enthusiasts. It has permeated mainstream popular culture appearing in movies, television shows and literature. Bigfoot walks the line between the realm of science and fantasy, offering a tantalizing mix of fear, intrigue and excitement. These elements make for compelling narratives that captivate audiences, fueling the enduring allure of the creature. Moreover, the search for Bigfoot inspires exploration and adventure. It's a quest that takes individuals off the beaten path into the heart of nature's unspoiled wilderness. This quest is about more than just finding Bigfoot. It's about the thrill of the chase, the joy of discovery, and the satisfaction of solving a mystery. The Bigfoot phenomenon is a testament to the power of storytelling and the human desire for exploration. It pushes us to question, to search, and to venture into the unknown. It reminds us that the world is full of mysteries waiting to be solved, and that the pursuit of knowledge is an adventure in itself. In the end, whether Bigfoot roams the earth or not, it certainly has found a home in our collective imagination, 
and there it will stay, forever intriguing, forever elusive.